Happy Monday, everyone. Hope you guys had a terrific weekend. We got so many cool things going on over here, but I want to welcome you to SCOTD Week. So you guys, if you guys heard Friday's video on Friday Live, we announced that because I've got so many of these sign carvers of the day, it's a huge group. I'm going to do four videos in a row, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 25 uh, SCOTDs, Sign Carvers of the Day, uh, consecutively. So this is Sign Carvers of the Day week. Now, what I suggest you guys do is if you guys see any of the, these signs in here that motivate you, and I guarantee you will because there is some really cool stuff, jot down some notes as you're watching it. Jot down some notes of what video that is. I will always put the, the date of the video in the title so jot down which ones that you like on that specific video because once this video is posted and I transfer these pictures over to the album in the Facebook group then it's really really hard if not impossible for me to go back and look them up so if you guys want to get motivated by specific ones just jot down which ones they are or maybe who did it and the date of the video and then that way it'll give you a way to go back and look at them again anyway so i just wanted to say that these first pictures that we've got here my computer blew up this is going to be from mid-december through early january my computer blew up and i had to use a laptop for about two weeks and vicky printed some of these out so that's the reason they'll be full size she uses more ink than i do <laughs> anyway so uh, let's let's get through these and uh, you're gonna love them. So first things first, we got Bob Cowan. This is uh, a donated sign. It's 19 by 24, and um, it is made out of laminated select pine. It says "Fur Kids Refuge" up in the corner there, inside that little heart. So great job, Bob. Uh, you know, donations, guys, are really a great way to get your get your signs, get your work out there. So terrific work, Bob. Craig Wallen, this is one of his first, I believe. Uh, terrific job, Craig. The background looks good. Um, I really like it. Terrific job. Great job. All right, uh, Floyd, Villarreal. This one uh, looks like it, I'm not for sure, but it looks like it has resin fill in there, a la probably Vicky. Um, and uh, on that really live edge cookie, I really like it. I think that may be the shape of a lake, but I might be wrong on that. But I've seen some that were done that way before. But uh, terrific job, Floyd. I really like it. Doug Quinlan. So this one, uh, Doug is from Newfoundland. And this one is done on a live edge piece of juniper. Terrific work. Looks like it's, uh, I don't know if this is in his house or where it's at, but uh, great job on this. I love the edge, Doug. Just really fits the sign. Terrific work. So this one is from Danny Brand Sr., 82 years old, and he actually mailed, he doesn't know how to use a computer real well, so he mailed this uh, picture to me. Uh, normally I print 5x7, but... Um, this is, I believe, it's his first sign. It is his first sign. And he's 82 years old. Congratulations, Danny. I've talked to Danny on the phone many times. He's called. Terrific job, Danny. Love it. Keep up the great work, buddy. Mike Runyon, I think. That's the way it's pronounced. So he's only been carving for about a month. And um, this is really impressive, uh, especially on one of those rounds that aren't necessarily easy to carve. So terrific job, Mike. Um, I, it, it, that's just astounding for only carbon for a month. Really cool. I told you guys going to be motivated. Brian Wizet, or Wisset, um, and I love the uh, the scroll saw shape. That is just scroll, scroll saw, <laughs> scroll shape, not scroll saw. You might have cut it out with a scroll saw. I'm not sure, but I love that that pattern. That is really a cool idea. Love it. Great job, Brian. This one, just spectacular. Alan Arnold, three foot by three foot. If, if you can't tell, it's got a dark green, looks like, like a hunter green border on it. It's kind of like what I did on uh, the Rolling Hills sign for John Peters. Um, but absolutely stunning. Great job. 
Allen. Uh, and it's three foot by three foot in case I didn't say that. I just, I love that one. That one really is awesome. David Jones, his very first sign. Nice job, David. Keep it up, buddy. Everyone will keep getting better, but for your first sign, you did really good. Terrific job, buddy. Stay with it. Gary Zellner. Gary's been with us for years. So the, the story behind this, up in the left-hand corner, which I don't know if it might be right-hand corner for you, uh, he made this from a piece of maple project board from a mill store. So the customer provided the picture, and uh, wow, that's, that's what cool. Gary did from the picture. Terrific work. Beautiful job, Gary. Uh, just a terrific sign maker. I gotta turn this stack a little bit here. So Darren Hawkins, six inch by 36 inch. Check that out. Beautiful job. Looks like it was done. Top line was done with our uh, Western letters. That's our the pattern. And uh, oh yeah, that's our three crosses uh, layout pattern over there. Great job, Darren. I love it. Leslie Murray. Like that. One of her very first signs. Now check this out. If you look really close, I don't know what board that is. It's obviously laminated pieces. It almost looks like a piece of flooring, but it's it definitely looks to me like it's repurposed. If not, you really pulled off a, a cool look. Uh, I think it looks terrific. Great job, Leslie. Um, you've got a big future in sign carving if you want it. Greg Anderson. This one just blows me away. Look at the artwork on that house. Five foot long. He's got three bow ties in it for uh, stabilization. He's got 19 hours of work on this sign and the house is from a photo and he put it into rapid resizer and uh, I just think it's just absolutely stunning. I just, I love that. Everybody wants a house like that or at least this everybody does. Yeah. I love that. Great job, Greg. All right, uh, Hirsch, I think it's Hirsch Miller, um, did a great job on the, the image of the dog there and beautiful cedar board. I love the, the white and the red mixed like that. Terrific work, Hirsch. Great job. John. Uh, I don't even try. I, John from Latvia. Oh, that's John's from Latvia, yes. 10 inch by 55 inch. John, I don't want to butcher your name. I'm really good at that. But this is made out of white alder. And uh, this is his very first sign. 10 inch by 55 inch. Super oh, impressive for your that's first sign. Yeah. yeah, super impressive, buddy. Great job, John. I love it. He, uh, he tunes in a lot yeah. when we're on uh, Friday Night Live. Mike Sprankle, I think. <laughs> I love the grain. Uh, I don't know what stain you used on there, Mike, but uh, this is done on, it looks like it's done on pine. To me, that's what it looks like. And man, that grain just jumps. This is a great idea for stock signs, guys. People will, uh, will pick that up in a heartbeat. Um, that's a really good kind of a spontaneous buy for stock signs. Great job, Mike. This one I have to apologize about the picture, the pink uh, stripe through there. I think when I got my computer back, I was running out of ink, and I should have reprinted it, but oh, I didn't. that's really cool. Andrew, uh, great job. Western Red Cedar, it's trimmed in American Walnut. Um, how cool is that? That is just super cool. I love it, Andrew. I, I wish it didn't have that pink stripe. That pink stripe isn't part of the sign, guys. That was my printer. It kind of blinked out at the time. I go through quite a bit of ink. Anyway... Uh, I love the fact that you trimmed it in American Walnut. Great job, Andrew. Ron Williams. Very nice sign. So this is one of those collages. So if you guys got multiple signs that you want to send in, because I only do one picture, this is a great way to do it. So um, a great variety of signs, shapes, and artwork there. Terrific job, Ron. Love it. Scott uh, Boslow. 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 Uh, and he did this for a friend whose son is involved with Special Olympics. How cool is that? So that uh, obviously is like a coat hanger or a hat rack of some kind. It's got those shaker pegs on it. Uh, terrific job, Scott. I really love it. Great work. Bob Winters. I love this shape. 
great idea. This is a terrific idea if you're in a rural area that a lot of cowboys and cowgirls kind of thing. If you had this shape and uh, did these kinds of signs, uh, I think it's a great idea if you're in a, in a part of the country or world that uh, likes cowboy boots. Great job, Bob. This one, uh, you know, I don't even want, know what to say. Bull Jordan, the guy is just... The guy is just super talented. He's got God-given abilities that I'll never have. Um, this is all pine, and uh, all the Tiki's stain is Kona. He used the stain Kona. Um, bull, I, I, I'm always blown away when I see your stuff. The guy is just truly, truly God-given talented. Great job, Bull. Um, I... I just don't know what else to say. Just amazing. Oh, that's cute. Terry Roth. So on this one, he used an SC50, a 60, and a profile uh, for a friend that likes camping uh, and Looney Tunes. So uh, love it. The SC50, of course, I don't use that anymore. I use a carving liner, but the SC50 works as well. Great job, Terry. Love it, buddy. Uh, Tio Salgado. So this is a gift for his wife. This is this is two pictures of the same sign, and um, it's 12 by 48, and it's got 100 LED lights. Obviously, Very this was cool. back around Christmas. Got 100 LED lights in it. How cool is that? I think that is, a, you know, around the holidays, that's a great, could be a really, really big seller. Uh, there's a lot of time in it, but uh, I think a lot of people would pay good money for that. That's one foot by four foot. Great job, Tio. Love it. Uh, Donald Spicer. I really like the shape, that freeform shape. I've done some like that, not a lot, but uh, I really like that. And uh, looks terrific. Great layout, really good lines. Uh, this is 19 by 39. And uh, Donald, well, great job, buddy. You're just really holding a great line with that router. I love that artwork in the middle, too. Terrific job, buddy. And last but not least, Brian Litton. Um, check out the artwork on that. I love that beaver in the middle. Very, very cool. Live edge piece. Beautiful painting job. Again, guys, this is where painting really does pay off when you've got this. Because if that wasn't painted, you really couldn't see it very well. Um, but great job, Brian. All right, guys. That is it for today. So again, if you guys like some of these, jot this uh, this title down so you can always go back and uh, and you know refer to this video for some of these. So uh, we got more coming up. We're gonna do another video tomorrow. Again, you guys know I normally do five or four videos a week. This week it's gonna be six. Crazy, but I got to get through and, and you guys have been waiting patiently on these sign carvers of the day. So periodically I may do this and you guys seem to really like the sign carvers of the day. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, we'd love for you to subscribe. Click that little bell icon so you get notified when we do six videos sometimes a week. Um, we would love a thumbs up. We really would like you guys to spread the word for us. Uh, we love you guys for all the support, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.